hefty price tag of 18.9 million US dollars after tax. But what is it that really makes this car so incredibly special, other than the fact that it is a custom built one of a kind Bugatti? Please take a seat and relax as we take you on a virtual tour of what the world's most expensive car looks like inside. Bugatti La Voiture Noire Launched at the 2019 Geneva Motor Show, the Bugatti La Voiture Noire is the world's most expensive new car. Translated to English, it literally means the black car. The supercar of all supercars was designed to pay homage to the Type 57 SC Atlantic, which is one of Bugatti's most iconic cars. We'll tell you why in just a bit. It's a project that was undertaken by Bugatti in order to celebrate the 110th anniversary of its founding. The Noir combines extreme engineering, passion, and the best design inheriting the Bugatti brand's great reputation for taste, luxury, and strength. The Noir is a masterpiece like no other and looks like something Batman or James Bond should be driving. It's mean yet sexy, sleek and stylish, and screams power and elegance. And just to put its price tag into perspective for you, for the same 18 million US dollars, you could buy 66 BMW 520i luxury sedans, 114 Toyota Camrys, or a whopping 238 Suzuki Swifts. While what's under the hood is nothing short of impressive, we're talking an 8 liter 16 cylinder quad turbo engine which can produce 1,479 horsepower with 1,180 pound feet of torque. It's what the car looks like on the inside that'll make your jaw drop. La Voiture Noire's interior was the very last detail to be unveiled, and it was simply because the buyer had not finalized the interior by the time the supercar was unveiled. Who bought this masterpiece? Stick around and we'll tell you. Even now that this car has found a home, the details of what's inside are still being kept slightly under wraps. And if you think about it, whoever spent 18 million US dollars on this supercar deserves to keep at least a little of it all to himself. But we'll share what we've managed to uncover about its interior in just a bit. First, let's delve into the history of the inspiration to this ultimate supercar. The 57 SC Atlantic was designed by Jean Bugatti, one of the sons of Ettore Bugatti, the man behind the brand. Bugatti produced only four Atlantics between 1936 and 1938. However, today, there are only three left. The fourth mysteriously disappeared. While it's a well-known fact that Ettore would hide several of his cars during the Second World War in order to keep them safe from the Nazis, most of them have been since found, but the fourth Atlantic is still missing to this very day. And it is rumored that if found, the iconic fourth Atlantic could be worth 114 million US dollars. That's almost 100 million more than La Voiture Noire. So, how did they disappear? When the Second World War broke out, Ettore placed all of his masterpieces on trains for safekeeping in Bordeaux. The 4th Atlantic was also placed on one of those trains, though it never arrived in the southwestern city of France. Sadly, nobody knows more than that, it literally disappeared without a trace. It was widely hoped that the missing Atlantic had been found and would in fact be the car unveiled in 2019 as La Voiture Noire, but it wasn't. The luxury associated with the Bugatti brand is something the company has never wavered on. All Bugatti cars are built with superior technology, unique mechanical elements, and premium and luxury components. And this goes for the body as well as the interior. Obviously, with a price tag of almost 19 million, it means all of these elements and possibly more are present in La Voiture Noire. While we can't confirm this as a fact, it is rumored that all Bugattis come with a 1 carat diamond built into the speedometer and power needles. What we can confirm though, is the designers paid incredible attention to detail when designing La Voiture Noire. The handcrafted components making up the car were made with excessive care and precision. Each headlight, for example, consists of 25 individually milled pieces in order to achieve the desired shape and lighting. The vein-like design of the weight distributing wheels is another detail that is hard to miss. Whether you're a lover of cars or not, Whenever you look at this car, there is bound to be something to hold your attention, such as the gorgeous handcrafted black carbon fiber body. Remember that a Bugatti isn't just built to look good. Oh no, a Bugatti is built to perform. So the carbon body was built to help this supercar perform when it comes to speed and control. According to the car designer, the aerodynamic efficiency of the body is a complete work of perfection. Etienne Salome says, we worked long and hard on this design until there was nothing that we could improve. 
For us, the coupe represents the perfect form with the perfect finish. What makes it even more impressive is the fact that every single component was handcrafted to perfection. Looking at the Noir, we can only imagine how much skill and effort went into making it. For starters, it took two and a half years for the total build to be completed and delivered. Yes, it was showcased at the 2019 Geneva Motor Show, but the truth is, what was unveiled then was only a design mock-up and not the actual final product. In addition, the Noir is powered by Bugatti's W16 8-liter quad turbocharged engine, which the company unveiled in 2005 in the Bugatti Veyron. In the Noir, it provides the car with an impressive power of 1,480 horsepower. Just think about it. With this amount of power at its disposal, very few other cars will be able to cope with its acceleration of 0 to 62 miles per hour in 2.4 seconds and a maximum speed of 248 miles per hour. Interestingly enough, the Noir was built on the same framework used by the very impressive Chiron. Not that this means it's basically a Chiron with a new body. The wheels, the extensively tested aerodynamic body, its internal design and cooling system are all ways in which the Noir distinguishes itself from any of its predecessors. As for the interior, Bugatti describes it as being covered in Havana brown grain leather with aluminum inlays in various locations. And of course, a diamond or two, if the rumors are to be believed. As for the owner, before we tell you, remember to hit that like button and subscribe button. Even though the idea and concept of the car was born inside of Bugatti, some of the design components were reportedly contributed by the buyer such as the exquisite six exhaust pipes that sit at the back of the car. It is one of the features that definitely adds to the grandeur of this magnificent beast of a car. Before the Noir's design was finished, the concept was shown to a buyer and whoever it is apparently fell in love straight away and agreed to the concept and sale. No other offers were made, nor was the car ever offered to anyone else. And the truth is, we're not exactly sure who the owner of the supercar is, Nobody knows really, which is ironic, when you think about the mystery surrounding the 4th Atlantic. And why wouldn't the buyer want to make their shopping spree public? We'd sure find it very hard to hide an incredible buy such as the Noir. It has been speculated that La Voiture Noir was bought by none other than Cristiano Ronaldo. Others have speculated it was scooped up by the former VW chairman Ferdinand Peach. Some have even hinted at the fact that Floyd Money Mayweather owns the Noir. Though we're pretty sure that if he was the buyer, we'd know. One thing that is for sure, whoever does own the magnificent La Voiture Noir definitely has a fine eye for detail, a love of luxury, and an appreciation for fine craftsmanship.